Thank you for watching MJVictims.com. And tonight we're going to be continuing our, our series called How Long Has This Been Going On? We're going to be looking at Kevin Spacey. And we're going to be looking at the allegations as well as looking at his past and how maybe his past family life as a child maybe has um, some root of what's going on right now. So this is a picture of Kevin uh, Spacey and his brother Randy Fowler. Kevin Spacey was born Kevin Fowler and they has a, an older brother right here and a sister. His mom, mother and father has passed away. But Randy Fowler claims that his uh, father, which you see here pictured next to Kevin Spacey, was incredibly abusive in that he suffered sexual abuse, Randy Fowler did, he said, since the age of 14, and that his father was a neo-Nazi and that living in the house was somewhat, um, almost like living in, in some sort of hellish environment. This is a picture of Randy Fowler with, the, with Kevin Spacey when they, were, um, when they were younger, obviously. And what Randy said is he always tried to protect his brother from abuse, but he's not sure if he, abuse did not happen to Kevin Spacey. So when you look here, this is a very detailed um, article by The Sun, and it says, what are the allegations Randy Fowler made against his father? Well, Fowler made a series of sordid sex allegations against he and Spacey's late dad, Thomas Jeffrey Fowler. Thomas, who Randy claimed was a white supremacist and a member of the American Nazi Party, repeatedly raped and beat him and his brother and children, he said. He said he described the family home as a living hell and alleged that his mom, Kathleen, turned a blind eye to her Nazi child rapist husband's abuse. Now, this is important because um, what he's stating is, is that the there was a power dynamic in that family. And his father not only physically abused him, but sexually abused the older brother and possibly even Kevin Spacey and maybe the daughter. So when we go further, what else it says, what else did Fowler say? Well, speaking exclusively to the son, Ramley Fowler shamed his Hollywood star brother saying he's worse than the Nazi rapist father. Fowler has also accused him of having a creepy relationship with his mother in a bombshell new book. And this is important because when there is a, a um, inappropriate relationship what's going on between a son and mother sometimes that can create a psychopathic type personality and it, I again I stress that is only in few a few cases but it can happen so that relationship is very very important so they can go on and says what has Randy Fowler said about uh, the Kevin Spacey allegations the allegations against Randy's father were, were repeated in the wake of the scandalous claims against Spacey. Spacey, 58, was accused of making drunken sexual advances in his underage uh, teen actor. Responding to the allegations, his, uh, his brother said um, that it's a, it was basically to, that he basically became a, an actor to hide a dark side that was going on in the family and that he turned to acting. Um, to basically um, create a character that would somehow uh, move away from his childhood and, and the demons that haunted him. Um, in an explosive new book, Randy Flowers uh, says Spacey is worse than their father and says he has a creepy relationship with his mother. Now, again, this is very important because, again, it goes to the fact that if there was a relationship, an inappropriate relationship with um, Kevin Spacey and his mother and maybe that happened because his father was so abusive but this could have laid the groundwork to why Kevin Spacey feels like he can do whatever he wants and he has maybe somewhat of a psychotic personality that he has no sense of remorse or feelings or anything and uh, studies show that sometimes when these uh, abuse patterns happen between a mother and, and son that can actually um, create that sort of personality disorder. Here's a picture of Kevin Spacey and his brother that was one of the last ones taken during right around their mother's death almost 20 years ago. And then it also talks about, this is a um, article in Vox, it says more than 30 accusers have come forward against Spacey with allegations that spent decades and here's a rundown. And this rundown is rather important because it shows, just almost like I did in the last video, this timeline where you can see this um, slow progression that happens all the way from the 80s all the way up to today and how this abuse occurs. So from in 1983 94 anonymous 14 year old boy came forward and essentially what this boy stated was that he had a sexual relationship with Spacey when he was 14 and um, when Spacey was 24 and he was 14 
And um, it seemed to be that, you know, Kevin Spacey thought it was something, you know, perfectly normal. And then um, further down the line, he tried to rape him when he was 15, um, when he didn't want to go on with his, his advances. So in 1995, an anonymous 17-year-old boy came forward stating that um, he befriended the teen and often invited him to his home, where Spacey progressed from being charming and brotherly to sexually inappropriate. After rejecting Spacey's initial advances, the accused they woke up to find Spacey's head on his stomach and his arms wrapped around him. And then a woman accuser came forward in 1986, saying that she was invited to a party, which really never happened, and that he made advances to her in his apartment. Again, very typical of what psychopaths do. They try to remain, become very charming, and then what they do is they then go after what they want. In 1988, a person by the name of Justin Dawn said that um, he was basically working the Kinetic Theater when he was 16 years old in junior high school. Spacey invited Dawn and his friend to hang out in his apartment when he served him cocktails and looked at gay, gay porn, and they knew that he was in high school and didn't care. And another person, Mark Ebenach, stated that um, he was one of the onset uh, assistants, and then he basically uh, Kevin Spacey flat out asked if they wanted to have his sex, knowing that he was underage. In 1995, an anonymous crew member on the film Albino Alligator, um, and he said on one of the last days of shooting, he sat down next to me and put his uh, his thigh against mine and put his hand on my thigh and moved it towards and towards my thigh and he said he felt helpless because obviously Kevin Spacey is a big actor and he didn't really know what to do in that situation. Again, this is a question of power and control. And from 1995 to 2015, Kevin Spacey used his um, men mentoring in the old Vic Theater to again abuse underage actors. And there's 20 accusers. 2003, uh, director Tony Montana. Again, a lot of these, some of these are children, some of these are adults, he doesn't really care. Montana alleges that Spacey approached him in a, in a bar, groped him and said, this designates ownership. Now this is a very important statement, and I will go back into that. And then he said he had PTSD for six months later, and then date unspecified anonymous journalist from BuzzFeed, an incident that occurred in London during the 2000s when the journalist was in his early 20s. Um, the journalist was again uh, assigned an interview with Spacey in his office. Spacey led to invite the journalist to hang out with him and some friends at the club. Or well, then he groped him. Again, doesn't care. Almost views these people as property and he can do whatever he wants. Again, this is uh, uh, allegations from a bartender stating that Kevin Spacey told, um, basically in a penthouse, that Kevin Spacey sat down next to me on a sofa, then reached over and grabbed his genitals and then said that he could F him better than his own girlfriend could. Um, again, this is somebody who is, there's a power dynamic here. Kevin Spacey doesn't care. He's going to use that power dynamic to get what he wants and he feels he's entitled to do whatever he feels like. Again, this beckons back in many ways to his childhood. So then we look at a writer here. There was a Nor Norwegian writer that says, um, that um, after five minutes, he says, he let go, he said, let's go out and have some cigarettes. And then while they were having cigarettes, he reached under the table and groped his genitals. Again, this was not asked for. This was unsolicited. This is something that Kevin Spacey felt he just could do, that if he wants something, he doesn't care if somebody um, uh, you know, wants those advances or not. He's just going to do whatever the heck he feels like because he's Kevin Spacey. This is probably one of the most disturbing um, parts of this article. It talks about Harry Dreyfus, who's the son of Richard Dreyfus, who's a very famous actor. He was in movies um, like What About What About Bob and uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind and Jaws, just to name a few. But he was actually in a London um, apartment and with Kevin Spacey rehearsing lines. And then Harry Dreyfus, who's the son of Richard Dreyfus, was there and Kevin Spacey during this whole situation was actually groping um, Richard Dreyfuss' his own son. And Richard Dreyfuss was unaware because he was so busy, um, you know, doing what he was doing, was practicing his lines and etc. It's unbelievable, the gall on this person. In 2008, an anonymous 23-year-old man came forward and also another bartender. And he said, it's, 
Um, so the man assaulted another man in 2008, and essentially again same sort of mo kevin's basically basically you know felt that he could do whatever he wanted to and um uh you know went after him and then another guy by the name of daniel beal um said that he then was uh, you know uh again alleging that basically shortly after the incident apparently he tried to buy his silence and try to grab him by his genitals again i can go on and on we look here, 2016. Now, this is what's happening right now. So, there is a son of a um, an anchor in Boston that says her son was a busboy at a, at a uh, restaurant in Nantucket, and uh, basically uh, was his their son was enamored by Kevin Spacey. Went to go talk with him and sit down. Kevin Spacey plied him with drinks and then went to grab his generals. And now, you know, obviously, more than likely, Kevin Spacey knew this this. 18 year old was underage probably didn't care and again it's one of those things where he just wanted to do what he wanted to do and we go full circle back to the allegations that randy father makes against their father saying that he was a neo-nazi and that he was incredibly controlling and abusive and um just did whatever he wanted to and felt that his family was property and how Randy Fowler says that his father abused him from the age of 14 on, and very brutally. And this really shows what I think we're seeing here. We're seeing Kevin Spacey, who's completely out of touch with um, reality and completely out of touch with his own behavior, and feels that he can do really whatever he wants to do. Now, what this video means, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if this is a cryptic message to somebody. Um, warning that he might out other people. I'm not quite sure, but the Me Too movement needs to start graduating into the fact that this affects not only women in Hollywood, but it also affects men in Hollywood, as well as we're finding out it also affects children in Hollywood. And in some ways, I feel I'm almost in an alternate universe, but hopefully things will get better.